thank you Jesus thank you mighty God we have returned to say thank you because you have done great and mighty things you have done wonderful things in the midst of us Lord we return glory back to you Oh, just join us in worship him this afternoon. We lift him up. Oh, Lord, my God. Lord, you are worthy to be praised, O oh God, this afternoon. Lord, we return to say thank you. We return to worship. Oh, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. to our prayer lord when we call you answer thank you for the testimonies thank you for diverse healings i 
Thank you, Father, for your healing balm over the nations of the earth. Thank you, Father, for sending men out of the isolation center. Thank you, Father, for sending men out of the hospital. Lord, thank you for healing them from COVID-19. Lord, we return all the glory back to you. Thank you, Father, for healing everyone that is sick of any sickness. Thank you because indeed there is a balm in Gilead. Lord, we return all the glory back to you. We return all of back to you. We return adoration back to you. Father, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. The Bible says you send your word and your word heal them and deliver them from their oppressions. Thank you, Lord Jesus. By your word, Lord, you have healed everyone. You say your word is health unto our body. Thank you because your word was sent and set free every captive. Father, we thank you. Lord, we return glory back to you. The Bible speaking, it said, the devil has come to kill, to heal, to steal, and to destroy. But Lord Jesus, you have come to give life even abundantly. Thank you, Father, for the life abundantly that you have sent unto everyone. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. We worship you. We magnify your name, Jesus. Lord, you are worthy of all our praise. Lord, you are worthy of all adoration. Thank you for the healing power. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for your healing power. Lord, we return all the glory back to you because Jehovah will say that you go about healing the sick. Thank you for healing the sick in over the nations of the earth. Take all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. We thank the Lord sometimes for preservation. We thank Him for sustenance. We thank Him for provision. We thank Him for healing. But we don't thank Him for His presence. We hardly thank God for His presence. This morning we shall be thanking the Lord for His presence. For always confirming His word with signs and wonders. Every time we gather, His presence is always available. Jesus, this morning, you, Jesus. let's lift up our Father, voices once again, Lord, we, we thank, thank you for your presence with us at all times. Thank you, for thank you because you are always us, with us. Thank you for always oh, showing up in the midst of us Jesus. with your power. Thank Lord, thank you. For your presence. Lord Jesus, thank you Lord, for your presence, oh God, with, with confirmations of signs and wonders. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Jesus. We return thank all the glory back to you. 
We return honor back to you. We say to you alone be all the glory. To you alone be all the honor. Thank you, a shame of days. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your mighty presence with us. Thank you for your hand that is available with us. Lord, perform me wonders in the midst of us. Lord, without you, O God, nothing will have happened, O God. But your presence, O God, has made a difference in the midst of us. Lord, to you alone be all the glory. Thank you, mighty God. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. A shant of days we return glory back to you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today, very strongly in my spirit, the Lord has been speaking to us to pray for the nations of the earth. And we're going to very quickly look into Jeremiah chapter 18 from verse 3 to 6. Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah chapter 18 from verse 3 to 6. I'll be reading the NLT version. The Bible says from verse 3, So I did as he told me, and I found the potter working at his wheel. But the jar he was making did not turn out as he had hoped. So he crushed it into a lump of clay again and started over. Then the Lord gave me this message. Verse 6. O Israel, can I not do to you as this potter has done to his clay? As, he has, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. So as the potter, as the clay in the potter's hand, so are you in my hand. During the week, the Lord has been speaking to us to begin to pray, pray that the nations of the heart is like a clay in the hand of the mighty God. And in this scripture, it's very clear. He said, and the message of the Lord came to him and said, O Israel, can I not do to you as the potter has done to that clay? And God is saying to every one of us, can God not do to us as that as the potter has done to the clay? As God, as, 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 as is it that God cannot heal the land? Is it that the Lord cannot change the story? Is it that the Lord cannot turn things around? And I said to myself, God, you can. God can still change the story. God can. God can still turn things around. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, sir. If the clay in the hand of the potter can be changed to anything as he will, so the same the heart and everyone herein can be turned around, can be changed, can be transformed yes, sir. Yes, in the sir. hand yes, of God as he will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glory to Jesus. And that is exactly why we have returned this hour. To pray that the almighty God who is our potter mold the nations of the heart as he will. And that's why we're going to be praying. I want us to go in this confidence. I want us to go in this boldness into our prayer today. That we are like a clay in the hand of the pot. And God can mold us. God can transform us. God can change us as his way. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to be taking our first prayer from the book of Psalms, chapter 75, verse 10. Psalm 75 verse 10 speaking. For God says, I will break the strength of the wicked, but I will increase the power of the godly. Yes, Hallelujah. I will break the strength of the wicked, but I will increase the power of the godly. And that's why we're going to lift up our voice in prayer. We trust in our heart, saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. we declare the power, we declare the power, the hold of every adversary, the hold of every adversary, and the evil men, and the evil men, broken over Nigeria, 
broken over Nigeria. Broken over the nations of the earth. Broken over the nations. Lift up your voice and begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree in the name of Jesus that the power of darkness and the hold of adversary over Nigeria is broken in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we declare. According to your word, Lord, that you will bring the power of the wicked. Lord, in the name of Jesus, every power of darkness over this nation, Nigeria, over the nations of the heart, Lord, they are broken in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, they are limitations over Nigeria is broken. Their power over the land is broken. In the name of Jesus, their influence over Nigeria is broken. In the name of Jesus, the power of the adversary comes to an end over Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, the power of the adversary we put a hold on it now in the name of Jesus lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to declare begin to speak over Nigeria we lose the hold we lose the hold of the adversary over our nation Nigeria we lose the hold of the adversary over Nigeria in the name of Jesus we lose the hold of adversary over the weight of this nation in the name of Jesus we lose the hold of the wicked over the advancement of Nigeria in the name of Jesus we bring their bounds in the name of Jesus we bring their bounds over Nigeria in the name of Jesus, in the name of so Jesus. So shall it be. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Beloved, follow us clearly to this hour. I want you to pray wherever you are. Whatever we don't bound here on earth is not permitted to be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we don't lose here on earth is not permitted to be loose in heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He has given us authority. On earth, yes, sir. and that's why our second prayer is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 8, Isaiah, chapter 8, from verse 9 to 10. Isaiah, chapter 8, from verse 9 to 10. I read, Raise the wall, cry, you nations, and be shattered. Listen, all you this distant land, prepare for battle and be shattered. Prepare for battle and be shattered. Devise your strategy, but it will be thwarted. Propose your plan, but it will not stand, for God is with us. <laughs> what the scripture? Is there raise the war cry? Let the nations of the earth be, be crying for war. That's what the scripture is saying. He said, let them prepare for battle. He said, let them devise their strategy. He said, it will be thwarted. It will be thwarted. Hallelujah. Let them propose their plan. It will not stand because the Lord is with us. We have heard about several theories. We have heard about several gang up of the devil wherever they are seated. But we are going to be play, praying and saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we demobilize every gang up of the wicked. We demobilize every gang up of the wicked over the nations. Over the nations, their plot and their plan comes to naught. Their plot and their plans comes to naught. Lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to declare in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we declare over Nigeria, over the nations of the earth, Lord, every of their plot. Every of their plan come to not in the name of Jesus. We declare in the name of Jesus. Every of their plan, every 
from the your counsel to come, come to the Lord today. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus, Jesus we trust all your strategies. Every of we your strategies, we trust them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, their gang up is broken. Their gang up is broken. Their gang up is broken. Over Nigeria, everywhere they are seated, ye ke ke te 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 mo sakotolea. Everywhere they are seated, over the affairs of this nation, plotting and planning evil over God's people. Lord, we trust it right now. We bring them to naught right now. In the name of Jesus, we declare them come to naught. We declare them come to naught. Ye kata rada mo shaka. Ye kubra kete lege de 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 we come back to Lift up your voice wherever you are. We come Begin to declare everywhere they are sitting, every of their plot and plan. Come to an end. Come to an end. Come to an end. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Lift up your voice. Begin to declare. Begin to decree. In the name of Jesus. We dry up their plot. We dry up their plan in the name of Jesus. Every of their strategy shall be thwarted in the name of Jesus. Every of their gang up. Lord, we pray right now. We pray right now. We pray right now. In the name of Jesus. Wherever they are seated, He said they will gather together. If they are gathering of the Lord, they shall be scattered. Lord, we scatter them right now. In the name of Jesus, we scatter them right now. In the name of Jesus, over Nigeria, over the nations of the earth, ye rakata ya da 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 ba, lekata ya da ba roko soko to lege da boshira, lika kaka ta ya da bo, ibrakote eluko si ta ya, everywhere they are, let them be scattered right now, let their blobs destroy. According to Isaiah chapter eight, from verse nine, everyone cry, Lord is come to know. Right now, come to know. Hey, every war we cry. Come to not right now. In the name of Jesus. The the of Jesus. For the Lord is with us. For the Lord is with us. For the sake of the elect. For the sake of the elect. For the sake of the righteous. For the sake of the saints. Lord Jesus. Over Nigeria. Over the nations of Africa. Over America, over Europe, over Asia, every of their gang up, come to not now, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, thank you precious father, be the glorified, Jesus precious name, thank you Jesus, you are the mighty man in battle, you are Jehovah, you are the mighty man of war. You are Jehovah. Lift up voice everywhere you are. You are, you are Jehovah. You are Jehovah. You are, you are the mighty man in battle. You are Jehovah. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. You are the Oma, you are the Oma. 
verse 12 Isaiah chapter 58 verse 12 this is very important for all of us right now because he has given us the land to dwell in he said and we shall reign here on earth yes sir (laughs) there is no man That is given the throne free of charge. The throne is for dominion. The throne is for authority. The throne is for demonstration of power. And he has set us as king and priest. And we shall reign here on earth. Until we take our place in God, until we take our place here on earth, we'll be messed around. For we are no longer babies. We have been translated from darkness unto his marvelous light, and therefore we dwell with him in heavenly places, taking our place far above principalities and powers. Where we we'll see it is a place of authority. Where we we'll see it is a place of dominion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Isaiah 58, verse 12. Some of you will rebuild the desert rooms of your cities. Hallelujah. Then you will be known as a rebuilder of walls. Hallelujah. And a restorer of whom? Hallelujah. Are you excited at all? Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you excited at all? Yes, sir. Some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities. Hallelujah. Then you will be known as a rebuilder of wars and a restorer of homes. We are going to be praying. We are going to be saying, Father. Father. Let the anointing of a builder come upon us. Let the anointing of a builder come upon us. The anointing of a builder. A builder moats. A builder raised. A builder don't destroy. So the anointing to build is coming upon us today in the name of Jesus. So he's saying, Father, let the anointing of a builder come upon us. And raise men like Nehemiah across every sector of our economy to repair the broken walls in the name of Jesus. Over the nations of the earth and over Nigeria, lift up your voice wherever you are right now and begin to declare, Father, Lord, upon every of our sectors, Lord, we receive the anointing of a builder in the name of Jesus. Lord, we receive anointing of a builder in the name of Jesus. The anointing of a builder come upon us right now. Anointing to build. Anointing to build our nation. Anointing to build our walls. Anointing to build build every broken walls in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing come upon us right now. A fresh release of grace. A fresh release of grace. A fresh release of grace. 
of, of grace upon the saints, upon the saints of the earth. In the name of Jesus, the builders anointing be released upon us right now. The builders unction be released upon us right now. In the name of Jesus, we take a new grace, Lord, to build over the walls, to build the broken walls, to build the broken walls. In the name of Jesus, Raise men like Nehemiah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, across our economy, across every sector of our economy, raise men like Nehemiah, Lord, to build the broken walls, to build the broken economy, in the name of Jesus, in the power sector, in the oil and gas sector, in the finance sector, in the government circle, Lord, raise men like Nehemiah, Lord, in the name of Jesus, Lord, let the anointing of the builder come upon every of our leaders in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of a builder come upon every of men in authority in the name of Jesus. Everyone in every sector, let every economy that have been broken be rebuilt, O God. Be rebuilt right now. Men like Nehemiah to build every sector of our nation. Every sector of our nation. Lord, be rebuilt right now. Be rebuilt right now. Be rebuilt right now. Zekatayada. Lekusike prokotolia. Yelikatayada da 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 In the administration. Lord of this nation. Hey God, rebuild, Lord. Let there be an anointing to rebuild upon every of the leaders in the name of Jesus. Lord, we raise men like Nehemiah. Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to declare. Lord, we raise men like Nehemiah to rebuild every broken economy in the name of Jesus. To rebuild the economy of our nations in the name of Jesus. Jesus, with the builders anointing in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Amen. I can see everything turning around, turning around, turning around for us. Oh, I can see everything turning around, everything turning around, everything turning around for. Oh, I can see everything turning around. Oh, turning around. Oh, turning around. For I see our economy turning around. Oh, turning around. Oh, turning around. If you believe in that prayer, come on, lift up your voice and sing that song one more time. Oh, turning around. Turning around, for I see our economy turning around. I see finances turning around. I see politics turning around. Oh, I see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. For for the last time, everything turning around. Tony, 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 for a girl. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. I see everything about our economy turning around for our good. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Beloved, very quickly, we're going to be praying for ourselves. We're not praying for ourselves and wherever you are in the house. This is a moment to pray for yourself. Whether you like it or not. The king's meal will be served. Hallelujah. <laughs> you like it or not. The king's table must be served. It must be served, sir. Hallelujah. 
And that's why I'm letting you know as king and prince on earth no matter the situation your temple must be served. Your portion must be served. Amen. Amen. You know, I, 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 I heard from a friend you know, talking and discussing about the situation of things. And, and, and it was making me to understand that in the midst of this COVID-19, in the midst of all of this, there are men that smile into the bank. <laughs> they are smiling to the bank. When others are crying, casting down, some are saying lifting up. But for us and our house, it shall be lifted up. Amen. And that's why we need to pray. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 18 from verse 6. That was a place we read earlier. Jeremiah says 18 from verse 6. I'm just going to take the verse 6 alone because we're going to use it to pray for ourselves. He said, Oh Israel, can I not do to you as the potter has done to his clay? This is a question. As the clay is in the hand of the potter hand, so are you in my hand. This is God speaking. Pastor James, God is saying, can I not change your story? God is saying, can I not turn things around for you? God, can. God, can. Hallelujah. God is saying, can I not heal you again? God can. He can. He can. can I not mold your destiny to be fulfilled? God can. God can. God can. God can. As the clay it, it, in the hand of the potter, so are we in his hands. What a privilege. God can. God can. God can. God can. And that's where we're going to be lifting up our voice to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, mold me, mold me, shape me, shape me, prune me, prune me, to whom you have destined me to be, to whom you have destined me in to the be. name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, things may not be going your way right now. Things may not be looking the way you want it to look. And that's why you need to pray. That's why you need to lift up your voice and say, Father, I'm like that clay in the hand of the potter. Lord, my life is in your hand. Lord, mold me right now. Mold my life. Mold my destiny. Lord, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus, Lord, today we declare that you will mold us. Lord God Almighty, you will mold our life. You will prune our life. You will shape our life. Lord, to fulfill that which you have set us to fulfill in the name of Jesus Lord I come to you today I ask for that Lord Jehovah to fulfill my destiny Lord shape my life to fulfill my destiny Lord mold my life in the name of Jesus to fulfill my destiny Lord prove my life in the name of Jesus whatsoever that we in that my destiny be fulfilled that whatsoever that is in my life right now that we in that my fulfillment Lord, prune them, O Lord prune them, O Lord purge me of them, O God in the name of Jesus let me break a toll in my shatter let me break a toll in my shatter I come to you, Lord by your mercy, O God by your mercy, O God begin to prune me begin to shape me in the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, whatsoever that is not in line with my destiny, whatsoever that is not in line with my purpose, oh God, whatsoever is not in line with my creation, Lord, I declare, them be removed right now. Let them be removed right now. Let them be removed right now. In the name of Jesus, let my life be shepherd. 
according to your will. According to your will. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I declare. Lord, I shut up the end. In the name of Jesus. My life shall be in accordance. Lord, with your will and your purpose. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you will mold us right now. Jesus, yes, in the name of Jesus, shape us today to what you have designed us to be. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we decree that you mold us into what you have destined us to be. In the name of Jesus, thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I see the Lord shaping your destiny. Amen. I see the Lord molding your destiny. Amen. I see the Lord transforming your destiny. Amen. To be in line with His plan and His purpose. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are, I pray for you today and I declare whatsoever is in your life right now that is not in line with God's plan, that is not in line with your fulfillment on heart. I declare them removed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever that is needed for your fulfillment, whatsoever that is needed for your fulfillment of destiny, I declare them released upon you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Very quickly, once again, before we close today's prayer. We're going to be praying for ourselves one more time. Exodus chapter 13, verse 21. Exodus 13, verse 21. I read very quickly because of our time. During the day, the Lord went in front of them in a pillar of cloud to show them the way. And during the night, he went in front of them in a pillar of fire to give them light. So that they could not travel, so that they could travel night and day. They were never stranded. During the day, there was a cloud to lead them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. At night, there was a pillar of fire to guide them. They were not stranded. No, not at all. And somebody's looking at me today. Somebody's connected out there. Because there is the presence of God, because there's a light upon you. You will not be stranded. Amen. Your destiny will not be stranded. Amen. Even in the midst of this COVID-19, you will not be stranded. Amen. In the midst of this pandemic, you will not be stranded. Amen. Because the light of God will go before you. Amen. For he will show you the way both in the day and in the night. Hallelujah. And that's where we're going to be praying. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, name of Jesus I, shall I shall not be stranded in this season. In, this season. in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I, walk in light. I walk in light. Every darkness give way for my fulfillment. Every darkness give way for my fulfillment. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice wherever you are and begin to make it a prayer. Begin to declare. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, in this season of pandemic, so many people are already stranded but for my case I shall not be stranded for my family I shall not be stranded in the name of Jesus Lord we pray for the saints over the nations of the earth Lord that they shall not be stranded in the name of Jesus you shall not be stranded for me and my house Lord we shall not be stranded Lord for we shall know what to do for time in the name in the name of Jesus, we pronounce the lights of heaven in Jesus' name. What say, Lord, your light will guide me. I receive your life for guidance. I receive your life for guidance in this season. Lord, to know what to do, to know where to go. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I receive light. 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 I shall not be stranded because your light shall go before me. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be stranded.
strength because your light is before me in the name of Jesus. Every darkness give way right now. Every darkness give way right now. When light shine, darkness disappear. When light shine, darkness disappear. In the name of Jesus, in my ministry, Lord, I receive light. In the name of Jesus, in my business, I receive light. In the name of Jesus, my destiny receive light. In the name of Jesus, for it shall prepare a way before me, and every crooked way shall be made straight by the light of God. In the name of Jesus, I'm the light of God. I shine for God. I receive your light. In the name of Jesus, the children of Israel, they never lack your light. They never lack your leading. Therefore, everyone watching this hour, I decree and I declare you will not lack direction. You will not lack direction. You will not lack light. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 37, verse 5. One of the very popular scriptures. The Bible says, and when God created heaven and earth, he spoke a word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, Let there be light. Let and there was light. There was light. Kalabosh. The light came out of God. He said, Let there be. It was a spoken word. And the Bible said, and he created man from the dust. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He moulded man yes, sir. in his image. Yes, sir. But as at this time, man was just a clay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the Bible recorded, and he breathed the breath of life. Thank you, Jesus. Into man. And man became a living being. I don't know what it is in your life at the moment. I don't know what you are experiencing that look like a dead situation. Mighty God, Lika Sakata. The same breath of God is alive today. Amen. The same God is alive today. Amen. Jesus is alive today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I declare the breath of God Amen. into that situation. Amen. Whatsoever they have called dead in your life and destiny. Receive the life of God today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. You're going to pray for yourself. And we're going to pray together. We're going to be saying, Father. Father. Before I read the prayer, let me read the scripture that I requested us to open. Ezekiel 37 verse 5. He said, this is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I believe you remember the, the, the story of Ezekiel. When he was taken to where there are dry bones. And this was the word of God to Ezekiel. He said, this is what the sovereign law says to these bones. I will make bread enter you. And you will come to life. Praise God. I will make my breath come to you. And you will become what? A living, living, living. And you shall come to life. The dry bone shall come to life. And you shall live. And you shall live. Hallelujah. I don't care what the doctors have said. They have pronounced you dead. But I declare you to come alive today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They have even given you your number of days to stay. But I declare to you today, by the breath of God, you you come alive in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know that organ that have been dead in your body. And they have said to you, it is time to operate. It is time to remove. Yes, whatsoever that is not so from the beginning. 
I speak to you today the life of God is released unto those dead organs in the name of Jesus Amen. they are coming alive they are coming alive your finances look dead your finances look dead they look so dry but the Lord is saying this is what you should say Speak to the finances. Speak to the finances. And they will come alive. Speak to the children. Speak to the children. Because they have been a source of concern to you. They are like that dried bone. But I said to you, speak the word. Speak the word. And they will come alive again. And you will rejoice over them. Hallelujah. What is that situation? Speak to them today. So we're going to be declaring and saying, Father, Father. I decree, I decree your bread, your bread upon my life, upon my life. Everything around me, everything around me, everything around me, everything around that me, need to come to life, that need to come. To receive life. the bread of God, receive the bread in, of the God. Name of Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare right now, in the name of Jesus. Everything that looks dead, I declare them all go come alive by the breath of God right now. In the name of Jesus, my business come alive. My business come alive. My finances come alive. In the name of Jesus, the economy of Nigeria come alive. The economy of Nigeria come alive. In the name of Jesus, my ministry come alive. That I dead situation, I speak the breath of God to you right now. The Receive the breath of God. Receive the breath of God. Receive the breath of God. By the breath of God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you sick. Receive the breath of God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you sick. Receive the breath of God. In the name of Jesus. By the breath of God. Lift up your voice. Jesus. Begin to speak in the spirit. Begin to speak in the spirit. I see the breath of God right now. That situation is coming alive. It's coming alive. From that sick bed, arise right now. Come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive, come alive. Every dead situation.
Breathe on us, breathe on us afresh. I see a fresh grace release. I see a fresh grace release. I see a fresh fire release. Yes, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Breathe on us, breathe on us, breathe on us. Thank you, Jesus. We return praise back to you. Thank you for everyone you heal, Lord, today. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. God is a faithful God. Hallelujah. God is a faithful God. I can feel him everywhere. I see men taking dominion. I see men going back to take their place in God. In the name of Jesus. Man of God, I don't know if you have a closing word for your people, God, who are watching and who are connected with us this hour. Hallelujah. Praise God. I just want your faith to be alive. It's not over until it's over. Yes, yes, yes. It's not over. The Bible says, surely there is an end. There is an end. There is an end. Yes, 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 yes. It will. The, the pandemic, the coronavirus will come to an end. Amen, amen, amen. But they that trust in the Lord shall be like one Zion that shall not be born. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want your faith to be shaking at all times. Be strong in the Lord. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, you Jesus. Much. Thank you, mighty God. To him alone we give praise. Hallelujah. To him alone we worship. Hallelujah. To him alone we give praise. To him alone we worship. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just want to leave a word with you today before you leave. Each time you wake up in the morning, just see your life in the hand of God as the potter that moves your destiny. It can't go wrong. It's not a man. The potter can go wrong with the clay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, oh. Yes, sir. You didn't hear me, sir. Yes, sir. I heard you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. potter yes, sir. can go wrong yes, with the clay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But God, more than our destiny, cannot be wrong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, it sir. cannot be wrong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So see your life in the hand of God. Hallelujah. More than and shaping you to Hallelujah. fulfill your destiny. Hallelujah. My life. I'm very soon. Hallelujah. To hand and praise. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be confident. Hallelujah. That it will hand and praise. Amen. Connect with Him today. Hallelujah. And God will be glorified. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you once again for connecting with us, for joining us to pray. I know you've had a very wonderful time together with us. I know you prayed as well. And if you are not online when we started, you can go back to wash party. You can wash with your friends and pray alongside within your group, within your, within your company. You can pray. And if you want to connect with us, please go to our Facebook page, Dadem International. Dadem Multimedia International and then on YouTube you can go to Dadem Online TV to connect with us. The prayers are all over the social media. Please join us to pray. When we pray, there 
is a God that will answer. This is the confidence that we have in him. That when we ask anything in his name, he answers. And I know God has answered today. Yes, sir. Please, we'll come your way again next week. Stay connected. God bless you. God bless you. I see you returning with your testimony. As I was saying, is maybe online or you are in line for a miracle. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Shall we share the goodness together, people of God? Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. The Dadam Life app available for downloads, broadcasts, trendy music, and messages on our radio live. We also bring to you studio sessions, trendy videos, and spark art on our online TV. Drop your messages and feedbacks on our discussion section. Get the best and latest tracks released by Diadem Multimedia. Diadem Live app, now available on your Google Play and Apple Store by signing up with your email for free.